Okay, joining us back again on UniversalSports.com is Milka Ski Star, Tina Maze from Slovenia. Tina, how you doing? Hi, I'm fine. How are you? Good, doing well. Thanks for uh, for joining us again. Um, it's been a while since we we talked. Uh, how was your your off season? Did you get in some good training? Do anything exciting? I did. Um, actually, summer was pretty much working on the snow and physical preparation, and uh, we were working a lot, training a lot. So there was not a lot uh, free time, but. For sure, I got some nice free days too. Very good. Um, I know you, uh, you you spoke or you not spoke, but wrote a little bit in your in your blog during the spring, you know, talking a little bit about some airing some of your frustrations with the Slovenian Ski Federation. Did you get mm. all that worked out? You're not quitting the sport on us, are you? <laughs> no, I was thinking about that. That's why I wrote it. So it was not pretty fun for me in the springtime uh, it was quite a lot of pressure from I don't know they wanted to change the whole system um, they wanted to took my sponsors uh, it was quite hard for me I just wanted to relax after the great season I had last year I expected much more um, I don't know what's the word. Uh, people to understand me that I need free time and my team that I that we need to relax. So we didn't have that in the springtime, and it was quite a hard time. That's why I why I decided to wrote it down in the blog as well, so people would know what I'm going through. And but now it's that's that's long time ago. I would say. <laughs> Uh, we are starting the season. My start was pretty bad, but I'm working on it to improve my skiing. So, I mean, now I'm focused on the season 100%. Right. You, you just sort of alluded to uh, the fact that you've gotten off to a little bit of a slow start. Um, 23rd in the GS and sold in. 7th yeah. in the GS and Aspen, 12th in the slalom. 35th in uh, the first downhill in Lake Louise, 21st in the second downhill, and then 18th in the Super G. When, when you when you look at what sort of transpired in these first you know few races, can you put your finger on you know what's happening and, and what the slow start is about? Um, yeah, it's not just one thing. It's it was more things in Sölden, That's for sure. I was skiing. We didn't have good material setting so I had problems on that slope how to ski and I was just not relaxed when I saw that things are not working the way I wanted to and it's hard to ski that hill it's very difficult you need to be 100% there you need to be relaxed which I wasn't after that, we were training in less than we were in the preparation because we were training quite a lot. We did a lot of runs, a lot of skiing. So I guess I was a little bit tired of the training too. And now it's I'm trying to to catch this race rhythm. That's more less, I would say, less runs, and you need to do them more uh, more. Um, Qual quality? No. How? What's the word? Quality <laughs> word. <laughs> I don't know. He can help me. Um, and in Lake Louise was really bad as well from the side of material. I wasn't skiing so bad, but unfortunately, skis were not fast, and we know that, and we were working on that the whole week, but. Skis were just not going down on the flat parts, and it's quite a frustrating to ski when you know that you don't have a good skis. But the the snow is special in Lake Louise, so I'm really looking forward to go and ski another another place. Maybe Beaver Creek will be different already, and I hope for the better continuation. Right. What, can you talk a little bit about what the process is like uh, in making the equipment adjustments in instances like this, you know, and, and, and getting the speed that you need? 
Um, it's hard to come after, I mean, when you do all disciplines, it's really hard to catch the, the feeling in downhill for the first training. That was hard for me. I don't know for the other girls, but for me, it's hard to find the right feeling. And especially if you don't have fast keys, that even makes it harder. So uh, it takes some time. I think I need to have, I need to be patient and it will come. Right. You know, all that said, do you feel like it, you still got plenty of time to get into the thick of uh, the World Cup overall title chase? Um, well, I'm not focusing on that. I'm trying to ski every race I can. Um, then I'll see at the end what will bring. I don't know. It's pretty hard to focus on a world title when Lindsay is winning race by race and I was 30th, so it doesn't make sense to, 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 to focus on that at this time. So coming in, into the last two seasons, a lot of people have you know, talked about you as being a contender for the overall title. Is that something that you just don't focus on yourself and just worry about each race as it comes, or is that a, a goal for you? Well, after last season, the last, yeah, the second period of, after the World Championships was really amazing. I mean, I was king every race, uh, like... I just wanted to, and I just was surprised by myself as well. So uh, it's tough rhythm to, to handle the whole season. So for me, it's hard. Every season is hard to start. I mean, I've never except certain race when I won two times, but I was much younger. Um, except that I was never really skiing fast in the start of the season so um, I'm just trying to find this flow that I found last winter after world championships and if I do that I mean it's all possible I'm skiing good I'm skiing fast I need to we need better material that we had now in Lake Louise that's for sure but I'm not worried about that we can we have more races to come and we just need to to be patient. Right. How bad is the, the snow shortage situation in Europe right now? And, and are you guys concerned at all that there will be more cancellations coming up or? Yeah, it looks like it. I mean, in Corchevel, they say it's all green as well. So we are waiting for this de decision next days that will come I don't know. I, we are now in America and it's all white. Yesterday was snowing. We feel the winter. I have no idea how it's in Europe, but they say we are not missing anything. So <laughs> we stay here. We, I'm happy we have races and we see what, how it's going to be. Right. Are you, are you, does it worry you at all that here we are in, in December and you know, there's, there's places in Europe with no snow? Yes, it does. Uh, of course, I'm worried, but I'm not worried. It's, I mean, it's no snow. It's bad for us, for the races. I'm more worried about the whole nature situation that's going on in the world. Right. That worries me the most. <laughs>